impressive way to approach New York is through its magnificent harbor. From the deck of one of the great liners, the towers in the sun are an awe-inspiring sight. Miss Liberty holds high her welcoming torch, offering freedom and peace to the oppressed of other lands. The immigration gateway, Ellis Island, is nearby. In the little park at Manhattan's lower end, the Dutch founders once played their favorite game. Here begins the main street of the town, Broadway. Along lower Broadway, famous visitors are welcomed by the paper snow of the cheering crowds. Up Broadway at Old Trinity Church begins Wall Street. The sub-treasury is at Wall and Nassau, on the site of the old federal building, where Washington took the oath of first president. The imposing stock exchange on broad near Wall is the financial pulse of America, where ticker tape measures the fluctuating fortunes of the nation. Downtown, the streets are narrow and great buildings blot out the sky. It's all work and no play here. Busy by day, but deserted by night. City Hall is a world-renowned architectural gem, one of the few surviving landmarks of little old New York, now surrounded by great structures of a later day. The tombs, with its gloomy bridge of size, over which prisoners cross to the criminal courts for trial. Brooklyn Bridge is the oldest and the most famous of New York's many bridges. From it, the views of Manhattan are sublime. The Bowery, now lodging houses and cheap bazaars, famous in song and story, but a dingy street today. The Lower East Side, its squalor and tenements rapidly being replaced by wider streets and better housing. But the push market still survives. They say that there are bargains here if you know how to make your price. Nearby is Chinatown, exotic, mysterious, where thousands of Orientals live apart in their own peculiar way. Joss houses, shops and restaurants in narrow twisting streets. A fascinating place, especially on ceremonial occasions. At the Centennial Arch in Washington Square begins Fifth Avenue, and a short distance away are the art studios of Greenwich Village. Although on the square live many aristocratic families, dignity means nothing to the children of congested sections nearby, and hot weather means a Roman holiday. Over on the Hudson are the great piers, where dock the giant liners from all over the world, arrivals and sailings every day. Where Broadway crosses Fifth Avenue stands the Flatiron Building, one of the first skyscrapers. The Church of the Transfiguration, lovingly known as the Little Church Around the Corner, famous for its romantic weddings, a shrine dear to the people of the stage. Pennsylvania Station, one of the city's colossal gateways. Through it pass travelers from every state and from every corner of the globe, a monument to the vision of a great railroad. On the site of the old Waldorf Astoria Hotel now stands the Empire State Building, the tallest structure in the world, 102 stories high. Its gigantic tower dominates the city and can be seen from nearly everywhere. The Chrysler Building at 42nd Street in Lexington is the next tallest of the city's many towers, its silver spire flashing in the sun. A smart shopping center and one of the city's busiest crossings. Here stands the public library. There are three and a half million volumes within its massive walls. Its friendly pigeons never want for food. Park Avenue, the street of wealth and social prestige, 
great apartments of penthouse fame and shops known around the world. St. Patrick's Cathedral is one of the most beautiful churches on this continent. On Easter Sunday, for generations, it has been the center of the famous fashion parade. And a ride behind a horse can still be had. Directly opposite the cathedral and towering above it is Rockefeller Center, a city within a city. Twelve acres of mighty white buildings reaching to the sky. On the roof of the Radio City Music Hall, rehearsals sometimes stop the work in the offices nearby. The terrace plazas with their fountains and statues suggest the city of tomorrow. In the sunken plaza, skating is the winter sport, and a busy city stops to watch as to music the skaters glide. Also at the lake in Central Park, the scene reminds one of the frozen pond back home. The birds are not forgotten when the snow lies deep. A garden in the city's heart, its four sides lined with beautiful buildings, here set in a tapestry of green. A paradise for candid camera fans and nature lovers too. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, with paintings and sculpture as fine as any in the galleries of the old world. On the west side of the park is the Museum of Natural History. In its spacious exhibition halls are shown lifelike animal groups in their natural surroundings. Columbia University on Morningside Heights is the city's leading seat of learning. The recently improved Riverside Drive skirts the Hudson River. It is dotted with many famous monuments and buildings. On its upper end, the tomb of General Grant looks down. Riverside Church is famous for its great carillon, the largest in the world, with its 72 melodious bells high in the air. Harlem, a large section in the northern part of the city. Here lives most of the colored population. Not always prosperous, but seemingly always happy. Harlem, land of swing and saxophone, where they teach the world how to sing and to dance. Whatever they do, they keep smiling through. The massive white medical center. 22 acres devoted to advancement of surgical and medical research and skill. Graceful George Washington Bridge is one of the city's newest and largest spans of woven steel. The only one over the Hudson River. It leads to the beautiful Jersey Shore and the West beyond. But New York is not only steel and stone. It is people too. Millions of beating hearts, lights and shadows. Tears and laughter, work and play, night and day. And so it moves from the memories of yesterday into the promise of tomorrow. A strange cosmopolitan paradox. When day is done and night folds in its robes of velvet black, they are studded with millions of sparkling jewels that challenge even the brightest stars of the sky. A city that never sleeps. Its spinning tempo carries on into the dawn. New York, the wonder city.